How are we doing today? You hanging in there? I know um, every day can be, well, can have a new challenge, right? But every day we wake up, we also have to praise the Lord for um, allowing us to have another day. Have another day with our families. Have another day, you know, learning. Um, it's just in his beautiful nature. And even having another day struggling and strengthening ourselves. Now, when I speak generally, not all of us have families. Not all of us have beautiful nature around us. You know, some of us might be living in a desert somewhere or in a tent somewhere, in a car somewhere, or possibly even in more difficult circumstances in an alleyway somewhere. We all have different stories and it's a story that makes us because the testimony of somebody who's come from an alleyway or a car or from alcoholism, or from drugs, or from any great challenge that is monumental to overcome, that testimony, the power of that testimony, cannot be understated. So, if you're one of those people, and you've got a great story about how God has picked you up and held you in the palm of his hand, and you're like me, it just happens out of nowhere. Um, there, there's great power to be had in sharing a story. I encourage you, I highly encourage you. Had I never shared my testimony, you know, like I don't have a big channel, but there's 400 and something people there that wouldn't have heard it before. Out of that 400, there might be a couple of people that it's helped to actually start sitting down to pray, to seek God, to repent, and to understand the times we're in. All right, when I stand before, stand before Jesus, you know, at the end of my time, if I could say that I've helped one person or two people, that's good enough for me. It means all that, all that hell, all that time of you know, getting up early and in the Bible and, you know, um, writing articles, not articles, writing, just, um, you know, putting together things for the channel, all that, you know, it's all worth it because you can't put value on one life, one life for eternity. So I urge you today, it's on me to say this, to um, share your story. Don't be scared. We've all got, you know, things that we've done in the past and, you know, as, as I've gone on now, I've been reminded bit by bit of some of the, the, the horrible stuff I did, stuff I, I suppressed, stuff I put in the background, you know, just the way I treated certain people, things I, I said or did, you know. I was a bit of a scumbag in my own right. Um, and so to be able to come forward and say that, hey, I'm, I'm less of a scumbag now is a good thing, right? And um, we're all dirty rags and sinners and, you know, we're, none of us are worthy, but he offers us his salvation. It's his gift to us. All right, you go seeking him. You know, you repent. There's a pretty, pretty solid chance you're going to be hearing from him, all right? I'd say uh, there's about a 100% chance you're going to be hearing from him. And all you have to do, if you're on the fence, is take five minutes out of your day, drop to your knees in a quiet place, and just speak truth. And just get that out from that deep place in your heart. That truth. That un non-lying, raw truth. Because that will set you free. All right, on a brighter on a brighter note, um, you know, today I turned 41, getting old. <laughs> um, but you know, I don't I don't like celebrating birthdays that much. I like to go a bit covert, 
and you know it's just I don't know if it's a pagan thing or not I, don't, I haven't really looked into it pretty much everything else is right yeah so 41 years ago um, it was the day one for me and so that's a long ride I've lived a good life I don't have any 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 regrets because I've overcome them um, you know everything that I've everything that I've done that I regret I've repented for and if there's other things they'll come up I'll remember them so um, yeah I just wanted to encourage you today just wanted to encourage you that you know share your testimony your story powerful story don't be scared to you know it's hard getting on a platform like this it's hard doing this with people around but um, these are the things that we must do because it's the truth and it's um, it's the right thing to do and you'll be completely and utterly amazed by what happens after you do it. Alright, I'm going to leave it there. God bless guys. Maranatha.